Hey guys, Don here. I really wish there was some way that I could make stuff in 3D like I would in Minecraft. Minus the punching the tree part. Well, someone on Reddit by the username of Coran did just that. He created a website to build and create stuff with blocks just like Minecraft. Let's go check it out. The website is called Make Things Now and I'll put a link in the descriptions below. You see how I'm clicking and creating these blocks? If you don't think that's cool enough, you can also print it have it shipped to your house. All you have to do is select the size of the block, what color you want the plastic in, put in some information, and then they'll ship it to your house. One thing to note, each block is about one millimeter squared and the grid side is about 40 by 40, so 40 by 40 millimeter. And there's no adjustment for the grid yet, but that might change in the future since this whole website is still on beta. Now, starting to place blocks is like a matter of minutes. It's, it's not too bad at all. But the only downside to this is I couldn't drag and make a line with all this um, blocks, which kind of gets tedious if you're going to make a big model. You see, uh, you could actually change different size blocks and different types of blocks by pressing Q, E, and R. So Q would actually give you the size of the blocks and then um, E and R would give you different um, types of blocks, which is really cool. To move the camera around, you can use WASD, just like a video game. This is actually very similar to a video game. And then your mouse wheel will zoom in and out. Holding the left click does move the camera around, but I wish I could actually drag my blocks instead. All right, let's get started on what I'm gonna create. It wasn't too hard. It was actually pretty good. I'm gonna export this as STL. Load it up in my Cura, and then we'll get it. Send it right over to a printer. Here's a little tip: you can actually save your design by clicking on the share button, saving this little link that's here right now, beta ID with the number. And when you load this link again, it will come back to this design. Being able to create something like this in this website took me almost no effort. I mean, less than five minutes I was able to, to design something like this, send it over to my printer and get it printed. I'm very impressed with this uh, program right now. My overall thoughts is there's still a little bit of improvement that it could be done as far as the dragging and clicking on the blocks. That, that could have shortened my time a little bit. Maybe move the zoom at the camera control to the middle mouse button. But again, it's still in beta. It's still got a lot of its kinks to work out. I, I wish it also increased the grid size or maybe in change the unit of each block while you're designing it. So instead of being one millimeter per block on the small blocks, you could just set it so each small block is three millimeters or five millimeters off the bat. But overall, a great program. I definitely recommend you try it out. Again, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Thanks for watching my video. Please take a moment to subscribe, it helps me a lot. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, I'll post a link right here.